quick rundown. Barring any unforeseen issues, I am moving to North Carolina, a bit likely later this month. Me and the girlfriend are going to be taking a bit of a break. She is moving to Vermont with some family. It's now Wednesday, this weekend. I will be loading up my trailer with her stuff and driving to Vermont. Small issue, I have a leak in my EGR cooler. Not an issue if I'm not pulling something, but when I pull my trailer, I lose about a quarter of a gallon of coolant every 10 miles. So I need to repair my EGR system. Started doing the research and what I needed to do to do that. And I realized, uh, you guys Duramax Tuner have some of the stuff, so I reached out to them and uh, you know, they're gonna be working with me on this and, and the guys up there said, well, you know, if you're gonna be doing that, well, why not, you know, put in a new turbo? Like, well, they're gonna be like, no, okay. So put in a new turbo as well. And I asked them if they had a recommendation for Y-Bridge kits as the two-piece OEM is garbage. And they said, yeah, the guys at WC Fab are the best. So they got me in contact with them and they were interested in even putting more on the truck. But unfortunately we were limited a bit by time frame because they custom make everything. So we are going to be doing intercooler pipes and Y-Bridge kit, and also a downpipe to do my Dormax tuner. But uh, the rest we're going to be you're looking at doing after the trip to Vermont. So let's take a look at everything I'm going to be starting on today. Long trips, I picked up three gallons of windshield washer fluid. Don't know why I was thinking, do a complete exchange on the coolant system, oil change, picked up a bunch of trans fluid, fuel filter, oil filter, trans filter, spin on, and a new internal, because I haven't done that yet. So we've got the custom fabbed passenger side up pipe from WC Fab. Before I started talking to the guys at Duramax Tuner and WC Fab, I kind of started piecing together parts I needed. So I actually already picked up an LB7 up pipe, but the construction on these is so significantly different, and this is such higher quality, it's ridiculous. The OEM, I kind of cleaned it up already, but I missed some and I need to clean it more, because I'll probably just sell this on Craigslist or something. But it even had metal slivers from the manufacturing where they didn't even clean everything and I was like oh that'd be uh you know just great going into your turbo comparing the two this one is so much more well built tuning for the PCV the packing on all this is incredible you know you order something from eBay or Amazon and you know see what you get there and they have an incredible variety of different colors and textures for the powder coating which they all do in-house me being me I went with flat black Yeah, that is a much nicer piece. All handmade. Those are some pretty sexy beads. Speaking of, I need to get an AC TIG welder. We got all the hardware for it. Intercooler pipes. Kind of feel bad touching it with my dirty hands. Three inch on the intercooler pipes, so much better flow. And matches my songs perfectly. Nice, thick, impregnated neoprene boots for the intercooler pipes with ridiculously nice clamps so you're not going to be blowing any lines for getting boost leaks there. And hardware for the up pipe. Hardware for the PCV. Three inch down pipe from the Duramax tuner. All sexy flat black and wrapped in insulation. Lower your EGTs. Dropping, no mods required or anything. This is built on a modified stock core. So they actually take the stock frame and modify it for their needs, put in custom turbine. Stock turbine is good up to 530 horse. This increases that 120, so you're good up to 650 horse, significantly lower EGTs, quicker spool up, just overall better and badass. And not to mention just sexy as hell. And lastly, coming in the mail today, we got the new bolts for the up pipes into the turbo pestle. Just assuming I'm gonna break mine. 350,000 miles. I don't know if they've ever been taken out, so. And a yoke seal for my rear diff, because that's leaking. It's good to work. Meadow. So I grow them out to pull my truck in. You can't sleep in here. Loves hanging out in the garage. Meadow. You got a new girl. Isn't it just awesome when you run into problems before you even start? New problems? Thinking brake fluid. I'll look into it later. I don't really want this. 
moves up higher, the lower it does, it's easier to work on. Yeah, I know, I should be using my freaking arrow hydraulic, but it's, it's a lot faster. And I haven't blown the seals yet. Well, I'm sure I will. I'm tightening this one now though, I'm not going to lose all my coolant at the quick trip gas pump again. Oh, that was embarrassing. Good. I don't know how well this is going to show up on, on this camera. Sure as fuck looks like a cracked head though. I'm not really sure what to do right now. I looked up uh, renting one of those like pod modular storage units that they move. It's 2500 bucks to have it shipped from here to Vermont. Oh, is that just a line of dirt? Oh, I think I just lucked out. Wow. Must have just been dirt. Really? I actually cleaned this out when I did the mouthpiece. It's already just going to shit. Trans dip six loose. I don't think this is the original EGR cooler, so. I think I'm gonna eat some dinner. We had dinner with Napa to get some batteries and UPS guy came to there with the rest of the stuff. Four packs of the ARP exhaust bolts, a flywheel lock for later, seal for the rear yoke, and the Allison manual. Let's try to wake back up and get to work.
like three. That's awesome. Fuck. I didn't even think about breaking off one of the bolts into the fucking exhaust manifold. That's, I, I gotta get that out. Shit. Shit! Three for three! Fucking right! Woo! Fuck. Yeah, there's supposed to be oil in your intercoolers, right? Nice. Huh. That's nice. Don't be a knuckle buster. <clears throat> ah, there's two bolts I missed. Yeah. This part is the whole reason for any of this. Oh shit. Is something spilling out? Yep, cool it. Boston Bay. Ah. Whatever be easier, get to it from underneath. Much easier. It's uh, right there. Should have gotten like three of them from back here. Alright. Well, that's no fucking good. Free boot tour. That's when they over greased it. New ball joint, too. Shit. Alright, there's that heat shield. Now for the fun ones. Six bolts go from the two up pipes onto the pedestal. <clears throat> hey! I would say something along the lines of on a roll, but I don't want to fuck myself. Nice. Four broke. Now the bottom two. Dude, you can back up a little bit, you know, you don't have to be all bumping all like that. Nice. It's five broke loose. And now the sixth one I'm sure will take as long as the other five combined. We need longer extension for this one. It's like a heat shield breaker right in front of this one. I'm not sure if you can see my socket. He was going to try to bend that heat shield man, out of the way. And just... Damn. All right, whatever that bracket is, it's getting moved. One says it's too long, one's too short. Nice! That or it broke. I mean, it broke loose or broke off. One of the two. I actually picked these up just for this job. These seem to go a lot easier than I was expecting. I'm assuming this has been off before. There's one. Two. Yeah, those bolts are way too nice to be stock. Three. There's, there's no way it was a stock. And six. It's going. Recluse? It's not furry like a wolf spider. Very well could be. Asshole.
now 1.45 in the morning. I'm just gonna break something because I'm getting all frustrated, so I'm just gonna call it a night. Have a good one, humans.